So and welcome to another video here. This is another tutorial on port forwarding. This one is for Chico, who's requested me to show him how to port forward some specific ports on a Virgin router modem here. So I'm gonna go through each port here and show you what you need to do. The only thing I'm not gonna be able to tell you is what your local IP address is. So I'm gonna make that up. You'll need to find that on your PlayStation 4 specifically. So we need to go to advanced settings. You need to go to port forwarding. Click ignore if that message comes up. And it will show you your current rules that are in place. I have some, so ignore these for the minute. You need to know the IP address of your PlayStation 4 here, which you're doing it on, I think you said. If you want to know how to if you want to know how to find that out, let me know and I'll show you how to do that as well. You need to create a rule. We're going to call your PlayStation the IP address 10. So it'll be 192.168.0.10. Depends on your DHCP range here, those three oscillates you'll find that the default for the Virgin is zero as a subnet. So you'll probably find you need this last digit. I'm gonna call this 10, just change that to whatever your PlayStation 4 is. So the first port you'd picked was 80. So we're gonna put 80 in here, 80, 80, 80. Protocol, you said TCP, in fact, they're all TCP. And enable it on. Click add to that rule. This is a standard internet port to be fair. You'll see now it is enabled. There it is. And then we'll add it in again. So the next one's going to be 443. Add rule. And you'll see now it exists for 443. The next one was so IP goes 10 again, same local IP, 465. You just keep doing this all the way through your ports. You have none that have a range, or there's one that has a range. Let me show you how to do that in a second. The next rule is going to be 10, and it's 983. So the next port is a range. This one starts at 3478, and it ends at 3480. So this will save you having to type each one, basically. And that's how you create that one. You can change the internals and redirect them, but for now, let's just leave it as it is. Next one is 10 again. It's always the same internal port and it's 5223. Add rule. Next rule, 10. And the next one's going to be 808, 808. Add that rule. And then we've got one more to go, which again is a range by the looks of it, 10, 10 in this range. And the final one is 10 again, and it starts at 10070, ends at 10080. And that's it, mate. They are all your port range. They're all your ports that you need to forward. That should give you what you need to do. Click apply changes here to make sure you don't lose them. And then your Virgin router should look like that, basically. Make sure this ticks on so it's enabled. And there's your port ranges to your local IP address. Hope that helps you, mate. See you around. Cheers. Bye-bye.